This is an image I took a couple of years ago of M42 um, using a non-modified DSLR and it illustrates one problem that you have in that this particular nebula and some others uh, have regions that are very faint and regions that are rather bright. The outer parts of the nebula here are clearly visible uh, but the inner region is totally overexposed. Compare this, this with another exposure. This is the same nebula, only with just a 30 second exposure rather than the 5 minutes, or at least a stack of 30 second exposures. And the purpose of this tutorial is to show how to combine the two together to get the best of both worlds. It may be necessary to do it in, do this procedure again. For example, it could do with an even longer exposure to get the really outer regions of the nebula. Right, first job is to select, copy and paste this as a layer above the long exposure. So to do that I do Control A, which has selected it. Control C has copied it. Nothing apparently has happened. Um, then go to the, the long exposure and Control V will paste it on top. <coughs> now it's pasted it on top as a layer. Now the underneath image there I don't need anymore so I'll just click on it I can just get rid of it. Now the first thing to do now is to click this little box which is and we'll add a layer mask. You notice a little white box has appeared there. Then on that box we do alt click and that places on the main screen. <coughs> Sorry. If I now do control V again, that has now pasted the, the image onto the layer mask and you'll notice it's now black and white. Before it can be uh, terribly effective we need to blur it somewhat. So if I go to filter, blur, Gaussian blur and change the uh, pixel radius or change the radius to about 30 pixels. That'll do. You can see the image is now uh, nicely blurred and this is just a mask so we're not looking for detail there. Say OK. And now what we do is to see what's going on and what effect that's had is go to Window, Arrange, New Window for the image. And there we have it. And now you see already this is vastly improved because we can see the outer regions and the inner regions. But we do have a bit more control still. So if I bring that down so you can see what's going on. Click on the mask. If I now go to the um, curves, control M, and pull the curve around, just get the middle bit of the curve and pull it around, if I get hold of it and take it to the top left, the mask has gone totally white and the image that you can see it below has reverted to the 30 second exposure. If I take it to the bottom right, it's the other way around. Whoops, it slipped. There we are, bottom right, we've now gone to the long exposure image. And in between we get a, a, a nice combination. Now you can vary that just according to taste until you get it just where you want it. Now you want to be able to see the detail, but I, I also personally like to see the middle region still brighter than the, the other. So I think about there is the right. But it's down very much down to personal taste. When you've got it where you think you like it, you say OK. Um, and if you're definitely sure you like it, we can go to Image. Sorry, not Image. Uh, layer. And down to the bottom, flatten the image. Right, we've now got, actually got two copies of it. Um, and you can now save it. <coughs> 